Who is awesome? Orchestral Tools is awesome. There is a new sample library available from the factory series called Sinoid. And in this video, I want to give it a closer look. So let's first check out some more information about Sinoid. Sinoid, mutated sine waves. Explore the foundation of sound through a technological lens with layered, distorted, morphed, pitched, stretched, and otherwise mutated sine waves. Built from analog sources with complex processing, Sinoid opens the door to a broad spectrum of sonic possibilities from sharp and rugged to ambient and ethereal. And if you would ask me, some of these patches sound as if they would be straight out of the movie Dune. So let's give it a look. So the first thing I can see that we have two folders here, origin and mutation. So you probably got a lot of original sound sources here, the analog generator, wind instruments and percussive instruments that have been later processed to create all of these patches available in the mutation folder. So let's check out that first folder analog generator that contains beautifully sampled sine waves. So please be aware that I'm controlling the dynamics here with my mod wheel. Also, let's check out this bass here. Then we also got soft sustain. We have drifting. So especially that drifting sounds pretty cool to me because it's very hard to achieve that with a pitch wheel, you know, to make it that precise. So let's quickly go experimental and check out how this sounds with an instance of Valhalla Shimmer on top. So I don't want to go through all of these patches from each of the wind instruments, but let's check out the articulations from the bass clarinet here. So we got undulating sustain. We get expressive sustain. We get accented expressive sustain. Got multiphonics. I mean, again, let's check this out with lots of reverb. So all in all, that sounds pretty unique. So let's head on and check out the other folders here. And you can see that there are not always the same articulations available. Here you have staccato and stuttering staccato for the bass flute. Let's quickly check this out. Let's quickly check this stuttering staccato. So I still have the reverb activated here. Let's check how this sounds without. So you can create some really cool clusters, by the way. Let's do something like this with reverb. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, percussive instruments, so let's check out the articulations from the vibraphone. We have single hit sustain. We got boat sustain. We get open tremolo. We got muted tremolo. We got irregular staccato. Okay, let's play cluster. And we get irregular tremolo. Of course, let's play a cluster too. Love it. So I think at this point, this would be already worth the 59 bucks here, but let's check out what I really find amazing. And this is the mutation folder. So let's check out the first patch here, Stygian, or the first folder, Stygian. And please be aware that I'm also using the mod wheel to control this. So let's go through all of these patches here one by one and I'm using the mod wheel here too. Avian. Fira. I mean, this already sounds like a cool backing track for a movie, like tune for example. That was Ripple, now let's check out Subset. What 
what do you think about these sounds? Let me know in the comments. So let's check out the next folder here, Ethereal, first patch, die or dehedral. Prismatic visions. Primal Symphony. So let's check the next folder here, Ravaged. Bazalar? Enter node. Metachronal. And let's check our last patch here, Enigmatic Emission. So I hope you like this video about Sinoid here. In the end, I want to say that it is definitely smaller libraries like this that make your music really special. I mean, we all have access to synth, we have access to orchestral sample libraries and everything else. But as soon as you incorporate sounds like this into your music, in my opinion, this is what makes your soundtrack outstanding. Because it is simply something that you don't hear every day. And this happened a lot to me in the projects I was working on, that I was writing music and suddenly when I started using sounds like this and put these underneath the music, suddenly it sounded kind of like special and custom. Okay, so thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, use the comment section below. Also pay attention to the video description. There are lots of free resources and helpful stuff for you. And of course, I will also link to the product page of Sinoid. And hopefully see you on another video of mine. Thanks for watching.